Smashing loudly into a desk, I knocked it on its side and began tumbling after it, instinctively grabbing the other desks around me for support. Ow! Oh, she's so good! She's so good! Oh, oof! <laughs> Dang it! Sounds like I knocked a lot of stuff out of that desk. Guess I'll put everything back. Still fumbling around blindly, I gathered up all that was all the scattered notes and textbooks and writing utensils. Oh, I can't tell what's what. This is so embarrassing. What the heck am I even doing? Wasn't I supposed to be hurrying home with such a klutz? I let out a sigh. I seem to be doing that a lot lately. Okay, this is the note. This is the textbook. And this is the notebook. Okay. I was trying to take inventory of all the things I knocked out of a the desk. Then I realized why. I might as well just stand it. Stand it up and stuff it all back in. I couldn't possibly organize it properly in absolute darkness. Better just apologize tomorrow to whoever sits here. Not that it was particularly pleasant prospect. Explaining what I'd done wouldn't be easy, and there's no, no matter how I sugarcoat it, it would serve as a clear indication of my clumsiness. If I didn't say anything, it's not like I'd be found out. But that would be the same as lying, as far as I'm concerned. I couldn't do that. Okay, I think I got everything. I placed my hand around the floor and swept it around, feeling for anything I might have missed. And I found something, all right. Ew, gross. What, what is this? It's all slimy. I clearly oh, no. brushed Don't my... tell me Tsukasa was there. Don't tell me he was there. I clearly brushed my fingers across something, but I had no idea what. It was no notebook or writing implement, though, that's for sure. Why would anyone have something like this in their desk? Maybe I had been on the floor all along. What is this stuff? I'd rub my sticky fingers a bit deeper into the wet spot, then brought my hand close up to my face so I could get a better look at what was there. What on earth did I just touch? You took ah! such blood. You just there was a flash blood. of lightning almost immediately joined by a roaring thunderclap, and with it for a split second, the pitch black classroom was lit up bright as day. Yo! Yo! No, God, that is that cold. blood? That was cold. That was cold. That was cold. I shot mm -hmm. to my feet, utterly mortified. In that split second, I'd gotten a very good look at my fingers, and it really did seem as if they were covered in blood. Oh my gosh, she's getting all these dang freaking future predictions. She's not going to do nothing with it. Oh I'm my lord. I'm saying... All this foreshadowing for nothing. But it wasn't just my hand, no. If my peripheral vision were to be trusted, it looked like the entire classroom was stained in a deep, dark crimson. Crap, it kind of smells like blood in here, too. Without thinking, I backed away from where I'd been crouching. I tried rationalizing what I saw. How could a whole classroom become a bloodbath like this? Did something spill? Did someone stumble in here injured? This is, this is impossible. It can't be. I mean, how? My whole classroom was quaking. I fled from the classroom. Or rather, I tried to flee. What? what? Why would it open? No, please, no. I don't remember locking it. And it isn't locked. Why can't I get it open? Oh, snap. What the freak? I pulled on the door handle again and again in a frenzy. Oh, my goodness. Man, I was break the window. Break it. I was pulling so hard that it felt like my fingernails might tear loose. But it just wouldn't budge. Why? Why? Please! Why? I was absentmindedly <laughs> grabbing at my hair with one hand and slammed my fist into a nearby desk with the other. This was a nightmare. Please! Right the window. What's going on? Please! Silence saturated the inky blackness on the room. I took deep several depth Break the window. I took several deep breaths in an effort to restrain my pounding heart. Calm down, I have to calm down. I'm probably just panicking because the door won't open. I'm sure I just misidentified whatever that is on the floor. I mean it's preposterous, right? There's no way something like that could be. I was certain that when I whatever. That has to be it. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally skipped it. That has to be it. That has to be it. Yeah, I probably just brushed against someone's paint for art class or something. My imagination was running wild because I was panicking. And the door probably just has something caught in it, that's all. I just was she stupid? Are we covered three? <laughs> She's covered three? 
<laughs> I decided to check out the hypothesis by feeling of, by feeling my way across the door, determining if anything was jutting out from the cracks. Dang, I'm not sure if I can do this without being able to see. I fumbled around the gaps of the door, but I just couldn't make anything out that would be doing this. And the classroom's rear exit seemed a world away. Maybe there's another way out of here? No, this was the third floor. I couldn't get out of this classroom by exiting. I couldn't get out of the classroom by exiting into the hallway. Let me out! I want out! Still at a loss, I noticed a sudden flash of light through the hallway window. But the glass was only translucent, so I couldn't be sure of its source. Is somebody out there? Then there came distinctive clomp, clomp, clomp of footsteps. Oh, of course, it must be a custodian! Oh my God. I recalled the existence of a custodian who always patrolled the school grounds. I was sure he must have been taking a look around after the sudden power outage. Great, I'm saved. At all, my all at once, my fear-addled legs regained their strength. This nightmare would soon be over. Oh, snap! Excuse me! I shouted to the custodian through the window as loudly as I could muster. Excuse me, I'm trapped in here! I had to be sure he heard me. I shouted again. Finally, I could see the light in the hallway again, and it seemed to be getting closer. However, something oh that creepy music. Something's not right about this. Protrude, I took a step away from the window. If that's a Yo, flashlight, I heard that laugh. I heard that laugh. There was a laugh. I heard a laugh. Oh my goodness! If that's a flashlight, shouldn't it be brighter? It kind of looks like, like a like faint, unearthly glow. Classically attributed to the spirits? What was I thinking? I tried to stop myself from finishing that thought, however. Dullness aside, it also looked like it was wriggling around in a very unnatural, unflashlight like way. Oh, in these footsteps. Clomp, 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 clomp. Four clomps. Then a, th then a three or second interval, then another four clomps. They were sounding like in a they were sounding in a fixed rhythm. That's no custodian. Nobody walks like that. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. <sighs> the fear was back in full force. I had to find somewhere to hide. What if I'd accidentally summoned something in you, you pause the stream. You pause the stream. Oh snap. It probably it probably paused itself. I mean, whatever that was, it begged for I begged it for help. It literally, I literally invited it in. I need to hide, but where? Uh. Oh shoot, supply locker. We careful around here, gang. Yo, supply, teacher's podium? Like, come on, you cannot hide through. There's a big old, old I'm not gonna lie, there. I kinda wanna see the wrong end. Uh, whatever you wanna do. I hurried, hid myself behind the teacher's podium. I grabbed my knees, curled up and made myself as small as I could. What is this? What's happening? The footsteps continued to draw nearer and nearer. Clomp, 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 clomp. Little by little, the sound grew louder. Every hair on my body was standing on end. Please just pass by, please. I held my breath, clasped my hands together and silently prayed. Lord Jesus, get me out of this, please. Clomp, 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 clomp. They were close now, very, very close. Please, Jesus, help! Jesus! <laughs> Jesus, please! <laughs> Why was this happening? I couldn't, make, I couldn't make any sense of it. I just wanted it to be over. I prayed to God that it would end. Was this what the old woman was trying to warn me about? Was this all happening because I ignored her? Because I didn't take the paper doll from her? Was it because I'd, I'd heard the ghost story of Yoshie and allowed it to get to me? Or did the strange events of this day have nothing to do with what was happening to me now? Looks like my heart's gonna burst oh, out of my no. chest. Oh, I was still holding my breath. I didn't dare let even the tiniest of sounds escape and give away my position. Oh no. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. That's a lot uh, of oh taps. Oh my freaking goodness, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of taps. Uh, That's tap, a tap. lot of taps. 
The consistent rhythm of the footsteps suddenly ended halfway into one of his cycles. And it had ended right in front of this very classroom. Yo. Oh, wowzers! Oh, yo. I had goosebumps up and down my arms and legs. I stopped praying. You better continue. You better get to praying. And you clapped my hands over my mouth. I knew I'd scream if I didn't. Could this be Yoshie? Was the school legend real? All I could do was close my eyes, keep my mouth shut and hope that whoever or whatever this was would just go away. But the footstep sounds didn't start again. If this was indeed Yoshie, then she just stopped in front of the classroom and was just standing there. I had no concept of time anymore. I stayed in my hiding spot for what was probably only a few minutes, but felt like at least an hour. Maybe whoever it is, whoever it was, is gone. I decided to carefully peek out from under the podium. I gingerly edged my head out just far enough to get a glimpse of the room when suddenly... <laughs> Yo! Yo! What the freak? The footsteps rang what out once heck? more. It sounded like they were headed right for me. And they might have been inside. She is sprinting. Yo, she's the flash in this. Oh my goodness. That's Big Randy right there. <laughs> Big Randy coming for that booty. <laughs> I scrambled back into my hiding spot and covered my mouth with both hands. Oh my goodness. 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 This was too no. much for me. My breathing was coarse and erratic. And my face was a mess of tears and snot. Jesus, save me! I was inconsolable. The footsteps just wouldn't stop. What on earth were they doing? Are they running in place? What I don't they know, bro. They're not. They're not going nowhere. <laughs> it almost seemed like they were running around in circles just to scare me. <laughs> what is going on? Stop! Please stop, bro. Uh, Somebody's gonna get a li Olympian champion right here, bro. Oh my goodness, that's Usain Bolt. She <laughs> opts with Usain. Bolt they opt with Usain Bolt. Go on, bro. I mouth these words over and over again and move my hands to my ears in a vain attempt to block out this torturous sound. And as if in response, the sound changed. <laughs> oh my freaking goodness! Ah! <laughs> it was a loud, dull thud followed by silence. No more footsteps. I'd heard that sound hundreds of times before. It was a classroom door sliding open. I peeked at why, but the door was still tightly shut. How could that let be? Let her peek, let her peek, let her peek. If the sound I heard wasn't the door, then what was it? <laughs> what if it was a supply closet? Mm, I don't know. What little safety yo, I felt. Yo. What little safety the I heart. felt here was pretty much gone. But to be fair, I wasn't absolutely certain the spirit had seen or heard me either. The prospect of stepping out in the, into the open wasn't a desirable one. But I had to decide if it was better to stay here where I was and make a break for it. Oh, I'm sick of these choices! <laughs> make a break for it. Okay, make a break for it. Just go, bro. Staying in one place for too long seemed like it would be inviting trouble. So I took a deep breath and reluctantly crawled out as quietly as I could. But almost immediately, I felt something. Tap. What the freak? Something long and thin had struck me in the back of the head. Or perhaps struck isn't the right word. There was a little force <laughs> behind it, but it wasn't a hard slam, more like someone trying to get my attention. Is that a wooden rod or no, it's a finger? What's no what? I knew I wasn't, I knew I wouldn't like what I was going to see, but I had to face whatever it was, so I turned around. And there, looming over me was... Oh no. Oh no. Is someone still do? here? <laughs> go home, child. I'm trying to go home. A figure was peering down at me from above the podium, with one emaciated wishbone-like finger extended towards my face. I recognized this person instantly, no doubt about it. This was a strange old woman who'd supposedly passed away earlier. What? The old woman was Yoshie? 
Nah, what? But when you think about it, it makes sense. Cause in the original game, Yoshie was like, like in her heart, she was like, she didn't want Sachiko to be doing all the killing. So it makes sense that she tried to save some people. But she old, bruh. <laughs> I mean, she like, she from the 19, she like from the 1940s, isn't she? <laughs> Dang, she got old. I'm saying, bruh. I recognize so this person. Just, I got to I got to do the voice. I got to do the voice. You want to? Yeah, I was doing her voice. Remember? Oh, okay, okay. I recognize this person instantly. No doubt about it. This was a strange old woman who supposedly passed away earlier. <laughs> <laughs> she just immediately screams. I was scared out of my mind. I tumbled the rest of the way out from under the podium and shot in my <laughs> What the freak was that? I need I, I didn't even get to do her voice. Come on, bro. <laughs> a ghost. There really was a ghost in this school. My breathing was ragged and my heart was pounding so hard I thought I might explode. Plowing through all the deaths in the way, I ran as fast as I could towards the classroom door. But that was as far as I could go. Uh, what's wrong? Ah! Ah! They're on the other side of the door. <laughs> Tied up against the glass was the old woman. She was glowing bluish white, the source of the light from earlier. But how in the world did she get to the other, get to the door before I did? How did she get out of the room so quickly and position herself so perfectly to block my exit? Dan, calm down. I felt like I was starting to hyperventilate and tried, tried as best as I could to calm my breathing as my arc darted about the room. I needed to get out of here now, to get as far from this place, as far away from this place as I possibly could. If the front door is blocked, maybe I can get out through the back? But if I do that, I can't leave the school without running right past her. There's no way she let me by, but I have to do something. I bit my lip and continued scanning the room. Something, if I just had anything I could use to fight back. I didn't have time to think carefully about it. I just had to grab something and hope for the best. There were two choices and I had to pick one on impulse before it was too late. Bag of salt. This looks like some leftover salt from an old chemistry ex experiment. I'd heard that salt was used in purification rituals. So it seemed like a natural a choice. I know. Okay, this is coming with me. I placed the salt in my pocket as some sort of protective charm. I'm scared, but well, here goes nothing. When I looked over, the spirit of the old woman was holding out her hand from the other side of the door frame. She really was trying to catch me. I wasn't just being paranoid. She was going to kill me and turn me into a ghost like her. I was convinced this had to be Yoshie, the teacher from that urban legend. No, I won't let her get me. Bracing myself, I darted towards the door at the back end of the classroom. There wasn't a moment to lose. I didn't act fast. If I didn't act fast, I probably wouldn't be able to act at all. I threw the door open and began running at top speed, hoping to escape the escape escape behind the spirit's back. Unsurprisingly, trying to outrun a ghost proved to be a fruitless endeavor. The spirit saw me and moved at breakneck speed, literally breakneck speed, at breakneck speed to intercept. <laughs> Get it? Cause she broke her neck. Yeah. Stop! You know, don't come any closer! I thrust my hand in my pocket and withdrew the bag of salt, then threw the entire thing directly at that old hag's face. Yeah. She, she recoiled, not my chance. I ran down the hall as fast as my legs would carry. Briefly glancing over my shoulder after a moment to confirm that the spirit was still writhing. I just kept on running down that dark hallway with nothing but adrenaline and mortal fear to keep me going. I reached the stairwell at the end of the hall and made a mad dash towards the ground level. I was determined to get out of this building alive. Finally, still moving at top speed, I reached, I reached the window door leading outside. Almost there. I'm almost out. Luckily, the malevolent spirit hadn't caught up to me yet. It actually seemed like I might be able to escape. I might actually survive this. I made it. You ain't make it. You still in the school. Bro, she, yeah, this school is like big as hell or something. Like, what the heck? I grabbed the handle and tried pulling it. Huh? 
No. Oh, no, it's not God, opening. Break the window, bro. <laughs> Why? Why? I'm so close. Break the window. Please, please open. I'm begging you. I have to think of something else. At this rate, that horrible woman's gonna. No, I can't let that happen. But what do I do? What can I do? Man, break the glass. Oh, hey. Putting my thoughts in order, I came to the sudden realization that I was right next to the umbrella racks. Unless the spirit had taken it or something, my umbrella should still have should still have been right where I left it. Aha, there it is. I, pr I practically tackled the rack, grabbing my umbrella in one swift motion. Not from the handle, mind you, but from the top. And then taking aim at the glass part of the door, I swung as hard as I could, smacking it dead center with the sturdy plastic handle. Yeah! The glass wasn't gonna break so easily, of course, but it did crack, giving me the impetus that I needed to go in for a second hit. Break, dang you, break! Break, 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 just break! Again and again, I struck the glass. I had the umbrella grip so tightly that the metal skeleton of the canopy was leaving indentations on my skin. I was sure that there had to be a better way to do this, but I didn't have the luxury to figure out what that might have been. Stop! You must not leave! <gasps> She's coming this way. Yeah! <sighs> break, break, break! I began smacking the glass even harder, even faster. My hands were killing me, but this is my only hope of survival. Finally, after far too much effort. Yes, I did it! Let's go. The glass shattered onto the floor, making one hell of a sound. Tepid air whooshed in from outside. It was still pouring raining, but I was free now. Free to escape this hellhole. Okay. The pain I'd broken was on the lower half of the door, and I couldn't care if I cut myself. I got down on my hands and knees and I crawled like mad. I did it. I'm almost out. I can actually escape. I'm safe. I felt triumphant. For a brief moment, the fear was gone and I was basking in my victory over this malevolent entity. Huh? But it didn't last long. Before I was even halfway through the door, I felt something coiling itself around my arm. With a start, I looked back. Oh! oh my what God! the freak? What the no! freak? Oh my god. That's actually creepy. Oh man. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dude, that scared the hell out of me. Ooh. I do not like this screenshot. Hurry up and read your lines so I don't gotta see this. Oh my gosh. I must have go outside. A tall shadowy figure had appeared behind me in the entranceway. It was like the crooked man, bro. It was like the crooked man. And she had me in her grasp. There wasn't much more to her than an indistinct flickering silhouette, but I could clearly see she had a broken neck. Was this somehow, a, a, was this a different apparition? Her scraggly rooted like fingers were squeezing my arm with tremendous force, pushing aside muscle and tissue and pressing right into the bone. <laughs> No! Who, who, what are you? My friend's not over there. Where is he going to be here? I just want to be a little longer. Do you need a place for me? Oh, that hurts! That really hurts! I was shaking hysterically and tears were streaming down my face. I was absolutely convinced that I was gonna die here. Let go! I could offer no resistance. She was too strong. All I could do was plead with her. Stop, please. You're you're really hurting me. I felt like my arm would snap in two at any moment. She wasn't just grabbing. She was twisting as well. The pain was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. I couldn't think of anything else. My mind was absorbed by the unconscionable agony. Ah! Tsukasa? I thought my arm was about to snap off and then all of a sudden I was whisked away. Whisked away by Tsukasa. Are you alright? Why? Tsukasa? Don't have time to explain. Yeah, yeah, bro, bro. 
Bro, add some urgency to it, man. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're, you're, bro, L voice acting. What? I'm the best voice actor. I'm over here putting emotion into my voice acting, and you're just. Oh, hey, 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 somebody thinks you're done. It's like no time to, okay. no time to explain. We have to run. Oh my god. Like Shut up. That's my boy, bro. I hate him. Tsukasa, Tsukasa was still holding on to me tightly after saving me from the brink of death. He led me back into the school. What? No, don't do that. He led me back into the school at an incredible. That's your goat? Leading her back into school? That's your goat? <laughs> the door was open, by the way. <laughs> we could have ran outside. <laughs> he practically spit these words as he was continuing. Running. Why is Tsukasa here? I tried to match his gay. But once we were a bit more in sync, I looked up at his face. After we reached the end of the hallway, he suddenly veered into the last classroom before the stairwell pulling me in with him. I'm fine. I can walk by myself, really. I don't know! I moved away from Sakasa and almost immediately spilled onto the ground like a house of cards. I wonder why. Um, okay. Maybe not. But I just need a few. Ugh. Don't push yourself down now. Tsukasa grabbed my arm to help me up. Unfortunately, it was the arm Yoshi had been twisting. Get out of her! Yeah, I don't I don't know how bad it is, but it really stings like it's on fire. I draped my other hand over the sore spot where I assumed there was probably one hell of a bruise. I started rubbing gently, but that didn't help at all. That's not good. I should get you to the nurse's office right away. Then, and then take care of Bro, I'm sick of your voice acting. It's fucking fire, come on. Oh my goodness. But, but then we'll be. Shut up, I'm done with one. It's supposed to be that ghost again, right? Uh, yeah! Just thinking about going back out there and facing Yoshi made me shudder. I couldn't believe he was even entertaining the idea. Don't worry. Can you just come get us? I'll keep you safe no matter what, okay? You are not Diamond One. <laughs> Tsukasa. Tsukasa's gentle reassurance almost actually made me forget oh, for the pain in my arm for a moment. I had to stop oh, myself from watching, or try to at any rate. What do you treat your injuries as quickly as possible now? Or they could get worse. The nurse may not be in, but I can at least apply for stay. The nurse's <laughs> office is not where we need to be going right now. At least they called me the doctor back in the days. Just saying. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going, you know what I'm saying? Okay, bro, do it right, <laughs> bruh! Tsukasa offered his hand. And I graciously took it, squeezing it tightly as he led me back out into the hallway. Tsukasa's hand is so... Slippery. What was bro doing before this? <laughs> Despite the I'm fact... Sorry, I was just... <laughs> Despite... <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that nothing had really changed, I was still in just as much danger as I had been. The paralyzing fear I'd been feeling was gone. If it were just me, I would have never been able to do this. I was frozen up. But with Sukasa leading the way, I felt like I could Sukusa. do anything. Sukasa! <laughs> <laughs> Shishido, are you okay to run? 
Oh my fucking gosh, that's all the fucking voices I brought. Come on, bro. Let me do my voice. Hold on, hold on. Shishida, are you okay to run? Like, you gotta sound oh my, concerned. You said the same thing, bro. Look, Shishida, you gotta sound concerned. You okay to run. Bro, oh he my. sounds like a fuck. He would sound like a businessman. That's how I picture him. Like, you know, he'd be like, she should have. He's hopeless! <laughs> but he's, he would have that cocky voice. Oh my god. I just goodness. know it. I'm telling you, bro. He has that cocky voice. Sure. Look, okay, look. I'll do the cocky voice, right? But I'll put a little more feeling into it, okay? Thank you. That's all try. I'm asking. I just wanted some I'll emotion. Try. I'll With try. With my blessing, Sukasa upped his pace significantly. <laughs> Please don't let her show up. I do not want to see that girl, bruh. I prayed silently for smooth sailing as I follow Sukasa's lead. As long as he's with me, I think I'll be okay. Oh my gosh. I gently squeezed his hand again as if to reassure that he was still with me. Bro, he's right in front of you, bro. Literally, you can see, bro. <laughs> do I was you not have eyes? Oh, I was starting to think that maybe Yoshi was gone. Maybe we thwarted her. But of course, just as I was thinking that, she made her presence known again. <laughs> Bro, what's going on with her? What she got going on? She's hungry. <gasps> what the hell was that? Show yourself! That's actually good. An unearthly voice reverber- re For fuck's sake. An uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> An un- and and un okay and un reverberated and un okay an unearthly voice reverberated through the dark corridor. I immediately drew myself into Sukasa's back. Bring me more. Oh hell no! Get up! Get out of here! 